In the previous six videos, we learned to find the derivative of the sine inverse function, cot inverse function, sec inverse function, cosec inverse function, tan inverse function. Uh, similarly, we learned almost all, you know, all the six ratios, inverse function, uh, functions derivative we learned to find out. And uh, we learned uh, how to use uh, the formulas to find the derivative of any type of the trig functions, all right? And uh, now in this video, we're going to find out the derivative of cos inverse cortex. And I will do this by the two methods, one using formula. And next one, if you forget the formula in the examination, then how you can solve the same problem and you'll get the full marks, all right? So first, let's try to solve using the formula, okay? So here, let me suppose our function y is cos inverse cortex. So since cos is in inverse, you can, uh, you can, you can, now, uh, let's try to differentiate both sides with respect to x. So, we'll get dy over the dx will be equals to derivative of cos inverse cortex with respect to x. Since cos has the angle as a cortex, so you cannot differentiate with respect to x. So, you need to a little bit uh, change, you need to make a changes. So, it will be derivative of cot inverse cortex with respect to cortex because cortex is here uh, working just like the angles and now since we have written from uh, this this one from our side so we need to differentiate that also with respect to x now you can easily uh, write and now here i want to tell you something uh, what we had learned that derivative of cos inverse x with respect to x Now here I want to say something, uh, what we have learned that uh, if we have our function uh, cos inverse x and if you want to find out the derivative of that with respect to its angle x, then it is uh, minus 1 over 1 minus x square. So same thing here, I'm just comparing this quantity here in this box with this one. There is no more difference. Just angle uh, x is here and here is we have uh, where here we have angle cortex so uh, derivative of cos inverse angle with respect to its angle is minus 1 over under root 1 minus angle square so same thing I'm gonna do here I'll write minus 1 divided by 1 minus angle square that is cot square x times now cortex derivative of cortex is everybody know that is minus cosec square x Okay, so if you write properly, then minus and minus will be plus, and you can write cosec square x divided by 1 minus cot square x. This is our required derivative of the equation. This is how we need to find out the derivative of the trig functions, trig inver inverse trig functions, All right? So, uh, suppose if you forget in the exam, this, this identity you forget, you didn't know, all right? Then how you'll solve this again, and how you'll get the full marks? C. Uh, our function was y equals to cos inverse cortex. Now, if you don't know the formula, again, you can you can solve it. Since cos is in inverse, when it will go to the left-hand side, it will be cos y equals to cortex. And now differentiate this both side with respect to y, all right? With respect to y, if you differentiate, you'll get derivative of cos y with respect to y. And again, derivative of cortex with respect to y. Now you might be asking why we are not differentiating with respect to x. Everywhere we are differentiating with respect to y, but uh, x, but we differentiated here with respect to y. So the reason is, uh, we will get here the derivative just like dx over dy, and later we'll make the reciprocal of that and we'll convert that into dy over the dx. This is the way we were following since uh, many many videos. So that's why to just to follow that tradition, I'm following this. Um, I'm using here differentiating with respect to y. You can do with the x also. There is no problem. All right. Uh, so. Now, uh, derivative of cos y with respect to y is what? Derivative of cos y is always and always, you know, that that is sine y, minus sine y. And now, derivative of cortex, you cannot uh, directly solve here. So, what do you have to do here? You have to do derivative of cortex with respect to x because the angle is here x. So, we need to differentiate with respect to its angle. And since you have written this from your side, from our side, so we'll be differentiating that also with y. Now it's same. So derivative of cortex is again, yes, minus cos sec square x times dx over the dy. So here we can cancel this minus and this minus, both minus, minus are cancelled. And now see, uh, uh, one thing I want to tell you, we have this sine 
y and here we have cosec square x all right it's okay but uh, in the form of uh, we have here cos y equals to cot x right so sin y it's a little bit difficult you know we we, we cannot uh, we cannot uh, use this y though we differentiated we are still getting y so we need to convert this sin y into the form of x all right so what we had learned that sin y is actually 1 minus uh, cos square y inside the root so now what we get this is cosec square x times dx over dy right in the place of sine y i can write 1 minus cosec square y so now cos y we know that that is cortex so now see our easily sine y get converted into the x form so instead of writing cos y we can use cortex all right so it will be now cot square x all right and this is again inside the root and cosec square x dx over the dy now just make the reciprocal so what we'll get uh, this dy will go up and dx will come down so it will be uh, dy over the dx and this cosec square x will be as it is cosec square x and divided by now uh, under root 1 minus cot square x answer so see again in any ways you solve all right we got the same thing cos x square x divided by 1 minus cot square x and here also what we get the answer cos x square s divided by 1 minus cot x square x anyhow you solve right whatever you feel easy using formula if you know the formula then try to use the formula that will be a little bit faster and if you forget the formula then still you can proceed all right try to do in this way i hope you understand this way and to find the derivative of any trig functions trig uh, in inverse trig functions and if there is any more uh, confusion or something uh, then please feel free to comment just below this video uh, I really appreciate that and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Catch you in the next video with the next problem. Goodbye.